Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, citations to the elect and feeding the sheep of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai in sincerity and truth. With this great gospel, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai is his son, by Hashem in the name. And that's, you got to come in the name of the son. That's right. That's the only way to the father. That's the only way to the father. And the father has to call you, right? The father has to draw you to the son. Because um, you got these fake Christians. They're coming out off their own accord. They're coming off their own spirit. And um, it's not of the it's not of the scriptures, right? They're not coming according to the ways the men of the Bible operated, right? Because you got these Edomites, this Christian church that have been set up through what? Um, European domination. Right, the Edomites taking over the earth, the Renaissance, them taking over the churches, Catholic Church, and until now they're the Christian, they're, they're the so-called face of Christianity, the so-called face of Christianity, and they done forced it down to people's throat. Now it's that we're in no times where the people are are against this whole Christian system, right? Because look at the whole world; the whole world is in darkness. First off, that's not a real Christianity. That is, um, how can we call it? That is, um, slave plantation false bible preaching that's what we're gonna call it slave plantation false bible preaching right first it was all about um obey thy master obey thy master now they're trying to tell you look for jesus save you jesus to save you right they weren't talking about nobody saving your ass back when you was into captivity that was the last thing they was talking about some savior in captivity right but what they talking about now right these devils they on the street talking about um jesus loves everybody God is here to save the whole wide world. Anybody could be saved. Everybody could be saved. All you got to do is repent. They got the Christian um, rock and roll concerts, right? They got the Christian gospel rap groups. It's a fucking joke. It's a joke. And that's why the Lord locking their stupid asses up all over the world. In Africa, they're being put to death. In the Middle East, they're being put to death. In China, they're being incarcerated, hunted down, right? These false Christians and um, different missionary Christians, like going missions around the world, they're being put to death too, right? The Lord's putting an end to that bullshit because it's false, right? We are the true Christians. I'm going to read the book of Acts 5 and 38. It reads, and now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel of this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the most high, ye cannot overthrow it, lest happily ye be found even to fight against the most high. Right. And that's why they have left us alone so far, because we are the council of the most high. The Lord has us out here on the streets for a certain time. And guess what? The true Christian persecution is coming. That's called Jacob's trouble. That is called Jacob's. It's going to be in the time of Jacob's trouble, the time of what the famine of the world word. Right. The scriptures speak about that. I'm going to go to the book of Amos 8, verse 11. It reads, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst, of nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. But hearing the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? And, um, it ain't talking about not hearing no more about Jesus, right? It ain't talking about Jesus Christos. It's talking about this gospel that's being preached right now throughout the four corners of the earth. And it's spreading like a wildfire through the internet, right? And it's exposing who these devils are, right? These fake, false... Um, how can can I say these identity identity fevers, right? These people specialize in identity theft, right? Sounds of freedom reveals rising power of Jesus in Hollywood. Yeah, right. You know that sounds of freedom should have been about what Israelites in slavery in America and in South Central and South America and throughout the four corners of the earth. That's the true sounds of freedom. The Lord don't give a damn about no um heathen child that's been caught captured, right? That's being sold on the black market. Shit, when we get in power, we're going to be selling these people. It's going to be um, signs of freedom. That's going to be a motherfucking regular thing on the earth, right? Children being bought and sold, right? That's going to be a regular fucking thing on earth. Children working hard in fields. It ain't going to be no child molestation like these cocksuckers in Hollywood and these rich elites do. But what? These Your kids going to be going into slavery, which? Your Edomite children, your Moabite children, your Ammonite children, your Hamite children. They're going to be in fucking captivity with you, right? I'm going to read Amos 8 and 11 again. It reads, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words. That's why Moab over there trying to change the um, Bible. 
trying to change the Bible, right? Because um, these no these devils they know on um, these heathens they know this book is a threat to them. First off, he's exposing Mister Jesus Christos, the devil the Bible speak of, right? The deceiver, right? That says the white man Jesus, right? This is how they got you. This is how they fooled you. So every time he comes around, you look at him like he is the man, right? And um, one thing we already know is that <laughs> the Lord ain't dealing with you Hollywood Christian, that Hollywood Christian, Democratic, Republican Christian, man, that American Christian bullshit, man. The Lord is the Lord said, what, are he waiting for who? I'm going to read the book of John 4 and 22 for you fake Christian. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at 21. Yahweh Shai said unto her, woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain, Right? Read it again. What did our Lord say unto this woman? Yahweh Shai said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor ye at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship, ye know not what ye worship. No, ye worship, ye know not. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. And it never changed. Salvation is not of the Christians. Right? Salvation is not of the Christians. Because um, the Lord's not dealing with that Christian Edomite um, doctrine, theology, right? Um, that church, <laughs> that, that Christian church is um, a, a, a off branch of what? White supremacy, white supremacy, white Jesus, or white God, or white disciples. And when you really open the book and find out the true images and the true dis depiction of these people, they didn't look nothing like these white devils, so-called white devils. They're red. Read it again. Ye worship, ye know not what ye worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in the spirit and spirit and in truth. And that's what's happening right now. That's why a lot of you have awoken to what this gospel. You are those true worshipers that the Father was waiting to worship him in spirit and in truth. Right? The spirit is the Bible, the words, and his truth is through Yahweh Shai. This gospel, man, you can't come no other way. Can't come the way you are, you worship. You know now what you worship. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews, but the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshipper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship Him, the Most High, is spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Yeah, and that's who we are. That's what we were set up to do. To bring, um, matter of fact, Matthew. First, I'm going to go to Matthew 10 and 5. It reads, These twelve, Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go ye rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's letting you know who the kingdom of heaven is, is for. Right, the Bible said, "Well, you at this time restore the kingdom unto what Israel." Right, for the Bible says, "Um, for ye shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, and we shall not be left to others." Paraphrasing, right? And it's talking about Israelites. It's talking about the Lord Yahweh Shai in rulership, and who gets to rule with him? His brothers, the Israelites, <laughs> not the other nations. The other nations are in their lot right now. I'm read it again, but go ye rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as he go preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, cast out the devils. Freely you have received, freely give. Right? This, man, we ain't selling this gospel like they do in the churches, in that fake-ass Christian church. Right? False imagery. Right? Just look at what somebody wrote. <laughs> it says, to all the fake-ass wannabe Christians... Posting dark soul images and framing up lame ass street preacher jargon, right? That's what they do. They get you on. Um, you go to one of them Christian pages. Oh yeah, the forces of darkness of evil taking over the world. And then the fight, man. If you don't get this sci-fi bullshit out of here, yeah. And then they hit you with the Antichrist, that man of sin. He's coming, and the world will have to bow down after. It's going to be tribulation for seven years, and then the man will be taken up. Man, if you don't get that, made up some bullshit. They don't, you've seen too many movies. That's a like Hollywood madness, right? And then in the, and when the end of the days, we're waiting for Jesus to come, and Jesus will, man, Jesus ain't coming. Who's coming? Yahweh Shai is coming. 
He delivers. He saves. He's coming. And he's coming to destroy who? You Edomites. You Edomites. Right? What it says. Um, the main point, Um, I have a special message for you. You're probably not going to make it. Yeah, a lot of you Christians, you ain't going to make it. A lot of you Christians, you ain't going to make it. The Lord said what? Matthew 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but where? But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's who the Lord is dealing with, man. Not the lost sheep of the house of Christians. The Lord is not dealing with no Christians. And um, the true Christians are who? The true worshipers. Shalom.